episode 27 nearing the end of the series we got derrick henry or at least that's what i'm thinking dk metcalf i haven't played him in quite some time but as this game's loading in check this out unfortunately this is very common this ends up becoming an easy w for me right off the bat four and one if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and without further ado we got the Bengals. joe mixon at qb versus the saints of course and Mixon getting sacked, the old line man plays a really big factor. It doesn't matter if your quarterback has escape artists. That D line is ready and they are hungry. And right here, Jameis Winston, four and one on the season. Now check this out. We need seven wins to make a playoff berth, of course. So that's not that's not necessarily out of reach. And Taysom Hill, look at that block, man. Hopefully we don't see that in Madden 23. You know the cool thing about Madden is that I know it gets a lot of hate, but sometimes. Honestly, it's just a small small things and small details they need to fix like I don't know why they took out the refs The blocking just needs to get better and check out Winston on the third down right here We get sacked of course the most obvious thing to do is kick the field goal and speaking of field goal kickers Your boy Justin Tucker the Ravens man shout out to the Raven nation They end up getting the 99 kick power 99 accuracy for the best kicker in Madden 23 Pretty legit if you ask me. Fourth down right here, of course, the field goal is the non-questionable call. And Mixon right here on the third and down, playing cover two too much actually could bite you in the foot because leaving one-on-one -on -one wide receivers, especially at a 99 rate, ends up backfiring on me and I end up getting mossed on, man. Byron Jones, man. He actually is on the unable to perform playlist or player, I don't know, something like that in real life, of course. So hopefully Byron Jones heals up from that. And check out this easy touchdown, man. Marshawn Lattimore is not going to get that easy tackle. William Perry. William Perry, though. he I don't know what he's sipping there, but what he's sipping clearly is doing him really justice because he ends up getting a rushing touchdown. And check this out. Jameis Winston <laughs> or snaps the ball right here. Well, can we get some going? Of course, your boy Olive. So the interesting thing about the Saints receiving core, let's just go ahead and talk about your boy Michael Thomas, man. I feel like Michael Thomas, at the end of the day, just being consistent. I mean, the last time he really played serious, or when I say serious, in a consistent games, of course, was when they had Drew Brees. And right here, Alvin Kamara in for the touchdown. Let's go. So, of course, we definitely want to get this win because then we'll be 5-1 and one, and only two wins away from the playoffs. But I was saying about Michael Thomas. The thing about Michael Thomas is that I know he's capable of running more than slants. I've seen it, of course. I don't know why he gets that name. And right here, Mixon before the end of the second quarter ends up throwing a pick. But I truly believe that Michael Thomas is a good wide receiver and he's capable of being a top five if he's healthy, of course. And as I'm speaking and saying all that, we end up marching down the field and kicking the field goal. So it's still a one possession game. If you really think about it, he gets a touchdown, kicks the PAT. That's the lead, right? But the Saints receiving core, man, they got Jarvis Landry, the rookie, Olive. I don't really know too much about Olive. But clearly he's a, a prospect because usually EA only makes cards that are prospects. And William Perry on the second half already getting a sack, man. So Perry's not only getting sacks, but he's getting rushing touchdowns. Could you imagine that? Shaking my head. Offense, we got to get the rock going because Joe Mixon could snap at any moment. So the Saints got Jarvis Landry, Michael Thomas, Harris. I mean, clearly the sky's the limit for them. But the thing about Landry that a lot of times teams don't really utilize, and I'm speaking of teams, I'm saying the Browns, right? He is a slant and go. He is a, a player that could definitely make those breaking tackles, catch it in traffic. So shout out to Landry. I hope the Saints utilize him well because when he was with Miami, he was a force to be reckoned with for sure, for sure. Fourth thing goes though, Mixon making some more audibles. All we have to do is get a stop and Mixon. What is you doing? My opponent did not see that. And not even Blitzer. I had a QB spy and Cameron Jordan just comes right off the sack or right off the edge and gets the sack. And just like that, it's clock management. So I'm thinking to myself right now, let me go ahead and run this zigzag route that never fails me. And no, Winston, I end up throwing an interception. That is a poor read by my part. Even if you ran the route correctly, that acrobat, I don't know what it is, those diving interceptions completely backfired on me. I end up throwing a pick, man. <laughs> that is not the way I should have ended the fourth quarter. This game should be pretty much put away. But this is where Coach Q comes in. 
Coach Q star right here. He ends up blitzing the entire DBs, completely, fully commits on the run, but I didn't fall for it. You're probably thinking to yourself, what do you mean you didn't fall for it? What he wanted me to do is score quickly so we could have those timeouts, but no, instead I read that and I end up pretty much wasting the entire clock and wasting a course's timeouts. Alvin Kamara, slide down. All we have to do right now, hey, field goal unit. Let's get out here. Justin Tucker, this is what we got you for. This is what you're paid to do is to get these W's on these scenarios. Of course, Tucker, man, 99 overall. There's no way heck he's going to miss this, right? So Jameis Winston, just like that, my boy from Florida, of course. We end up getting the W. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, really appreciate it if you made it up to this point. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And, hey, we're 5-1 in the season. And I can't wait to bring you guys the next video. Uh, pretty much Madden 22 is coming to an end. So Madden 23, stay tuned for that and more content in general. Have a good one.